so this is another one of those AI wearables that is, you know, kind of like a smart assistant thing. I've seen this one as they've been making the rounds on the various tech podcasts. Uh, Leo Laporte has been wearing one of these for a while and talks quite a lot about it. And even before he started talking about it, I was very interested. But then a couple of the people went on there and kind of talked to him for a minute. And I was like, oh, yeah, uh, I have one of those. Maybe I should... Uh, do something about it, like it had just come the day before. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll make another video about these things. So it's a personal AI assistant. It is the B Pioneer. It has a really long battery life. They claim uh, seven days or 160 plus hours of continuous daily AI assistance. I need some caffeine, guys. I, I've only had this much caffeine today and it's 9.30. I should have had two of these by now. So let me, uh, maybe I should turn this on and tell it to remind me to get some. So it does have a dual microphone system. But let's, let's open this box. A new way to be, B-E-E. -E. You just get the normal kind of stuff in here. It's got uh, a yellow band or a black band. I think the yellow band's a little bit smaller than the black band. It's more like a small woman or kid size. You get some stickers, which I kind of like. I'm gonna put one of these on my X1C probably. I like decorating it with YouTuber stickers, but these are pretty fun. And then yeah, you just get that. It's got a clip version. You just pop it in there and then you can clip it on you. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this clip. It's really f just rubbery and yeah. So I just use the band, that's pretty much it. Can move this stuff out of the way and talk about the device itself. The device just kind of slides in there. You can see where it's like popping out. You might be able to. Black is hard to film. And this just pops in there. When the red light's on, this is one of my complaints. When the red light is on, it is not recording, which is contrary to every recording device made since that recording devices became a thing. Normally when red's on, it means it's recording. The competition that I've been wearing as well, which I've taken off for the sake of this video, its light turns on when it's recording, which makes sense to me because that's how tape decks have been, video cameras and everything. So I wish they would change this in their firmware to be off when it's not recording but it is what it is. My only other complaint about this device is, now mind you, this is their early offering. This is just so people can like start experimenting with the technology and stuff. But the other device has a magnetic back, the magnetic back comes off and then it's got a proprietary magnetic charging thing. I hate that too, because it's proprietary. This does use USB-C, but that's in direct contact with your skin. I don't know how well you can see that, but I, if you look just right, you can actually see way inside the device. So I don't know about you, but, um, my skin cells fall off and I sweat. So yeah, that's gonna get clogged. It is March now, but it was 77 degrees the other day. Uh, it's back down to 43 today is the high. But if I'm wearing this thing in the summer and it's 90 to 100% humidity here in Indiana and it's 80 to 95 degrees outside, that's gonna be a problem. Saltwater electronics are not friends and skin's gonna get in there and stuff. So yeah, you can see the dual microphones right there actually. But other than that, let's talk about it a little bit more. The battery life, from my experience, I do work from home, so I'm alone a lot. I only get to turn it on in car rides with my wife. That's why I'm not gonna show you any of my discussions because it's a lot of kind of household discussions between me and my wife and things that I'm planning to do at a career level possibly and with my channels and just some, important house decisions that I don't necessarily want on the internet or that I don't want on the internet until the plans are more concrete. So I apologize about that, but maybe some other channels can show you the actual conversations and stuff. But that said, I haven't really had to test the battery a lot. Um, I've had this thing for three or four weeks and it's just been in standby a lot with just that LED on. And I think I've charged it twice and it wasn't even at half battery when I charged it. I just wanted to top it off because I knew I was gonna you know, be in the car for a while and talking is really easy. You just push that button, the light goes off and you know it's recording. Works great. Again, I wish they would change the light. It was pretty good to contextual awareness um, because of the two microphones. It still does well in a loud environment. It does seem to confuse the number of speakers, but I've also found that on the two competing devices I have, one of which is in beta and the other is still being offered as a commercial product like this. They if you change your tone of voice or you change your volume, they seem to think that's a different speaker. My wife and I will sit on the couch and read. Uh, I will read and we will discuss what we're reading, religion related stuff. And it'll say there was six people in the conversation or four people and it was just the two of us. And it does that for the, the, the other brand too. 
just I think that's just a limitation of whatever um, they're using to process the the sound and transcribe it. It's probably some model other than the LLMs, so I don't know. Maybe that's out of their control. I'm just mostly using it to transcribe our conversations so that I can then run them through an LLM. Now, where this one shines where the other one doesn't is you can uh, connect the app to like your Google Calendar, your Gmail, your contacts, contacts, etc. I really like that because it does operate more as a personal assistant. The other one, the, the Plod, does not do that. It's mostly just recording your conversations. Now, I like the plot a little bit better for the transcription and analysis. This still does a good job. I just wish it was presented a little bit different and, and done a little bit differently. But this shines in that AI thing. It will pick up things from the conversation and make suggestions. Hey, would you like to add a reminder about this or a task about this? You know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, my wife said something the other day. I don't remember what, and I didn't even notice it when she said it because I was driving. And then I get home and I look at the app and it's like, oh, set a reminder to do yada, yada. And I'm like, oh, yeah, she did say that, I think. Maybe I, maybe I should, <laughs> should do that. Now, it's not always great. I would say a quarter of the time I actually am like, yes, add that task. Sometimes it can't get the context of we're reading a book and it's talking about a change in, in church policy. And it's like, you know, you should schedule a meeting to do this. And I'm like, well, that's a little bit above my pay grade. And that's uh, the, the, the leadership of the church does that. Not me necessarily. But quarter of the time is pretty good. And you just like, nope, yes, no, yes. And that's great. Um, something else it kind of does. Oh, guys, I'm tired. It'll go through your email. That's what I was going to say. It'll go through your email and calendar and be like, hey, this, this, et cetera. And I'm like, yep, nope, I already did that. Don't want to add that. Yes, I need to get to that. And then I can just pop that open and it's like a second place for me to remember things. You know, I get a lot of emails from brands and stuff. I get a lot of those and I don't always look at them or I look at them and I'm like, yeah, let me get back to that company or no, I just delete them. It'll give me a second little reminder. Hey, so-and-so reached out. Uh, you should follow up with them. And I'm like, oh yeah, I, I really want to know more about that potential partnership. So great if you're in sales, if you're in all kinds of other stuff, great feature. It also learns things about you. Uh, we'll read the religious book and it'll be like, Ryan is interested in religious topics. Yes, no, yes. Ryan has, Ryan is interested in refinancing his house because I was talking about um, home stuff, my interest rate and, and home renovations and, and things like that. And it would pick out things from that and it just kind of learns those things. And I think what it's doing there is it's going to use that to like prioritize things it extracts from conversations contextually. Pretty cool. That is one thing I wish the other brand did. Well, both of those things, the like tasks and that. So this wins there if that's more for you. So this would be great for like real estate agents, engineers, digital nomads, educators, anyone that needs like that instant voice documentation and the little nudges and reminders and, and, and things like that. Now it does do AI uh, assisted, large language model assisted summaries. You can kind of save time on your documentation and extract information, or you can just take that whole transcript and run it through an LLM of your own choosing too, if you wanted to like copy paste it out or whatever. In the future, I'm going to compare at least two of these devices in a video. Um, I just haven't had a chance to use them enough. I do work from home, so I'm alone all day don't have meetings where I talk. So I only get to use this in the car and at church and stuff. Sorry about that, guys. My biggest complaint is just the USB thing. The light, you know, you can get used to it being the record. It's just weird that it's contrary to like every other device ever. But the USB-C, you may want to try to 3D print a little USB-C protector to put in there or something. Uh, but be, be careful. I mean, if you damage it, you damage it and you're out of luck, but it, that's a ticking time bomb. That it's only a matter of time until that is so gunked up with skin cells or sweat or whatever that it just stops working. You may wanna wear the clip instead of the watch band, but as long as they're giving these two watch bands with it, wrist straps, whatever, they're watch bands. Oh, that is just a design flaw. I may actually email them and point that out. I don't know where they're from. I assume San Francisco or somewhere in California. It's probably not too bad of a climate, but that's just not gonna work. And also that offers zero water resistance whatsoever. If you're out in the rain, <laughs> I hope that's got a good contact to your skin because water's gonna get in there. But anyway, sorry this wasn't as in-depth as you probably wanted it to be. There's other videos for that. I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts about it 
And if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. If you're using one of these, let me know how you're using it, like genuinely. I love the idea of these sort of wearable transcription devices that interface with large language models. I'm already benefiting from them just in my personal relationship with my wife because we can kind of, we, we had a little bit of a squabble in the car the other day, yesterday, and we were able to, you know, after action it when we got home and look at what we talked about and say, oh yeah, okay, I saw where you, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, we both need to communicate a little bit better. This is kind of how we might be able to do it. Just amazing for that. But what are some other good use cases? Anyway, rambling. I'll be back in another video with this and that plod. And we'll take a look at kind of how I feel about them. And so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.